Let's learn irregular verbs with the Statue of Liberty. In this lesson, we'll start by doing a listen and read exercise. Then we're going to review the 10 irregular verbs you heard in the story about the Statue of Liberty. Then you'll do an exercise, fill in the blank. Afterwards, you'll listen again. Don't skip this step. This will reinforce the 10 irregular verbs that you learned. Let's begin. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from France to the United States in 1886. And it commemorates not only the centennial of American independence, but the friendship between the two nations. It took about nine years to make. The exterior was designed by French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi, and the statue's internal structure was engineered by Gustave Eiffel, or Gustave Eiffel, who later designed the Eiffel Tower. The Statue of Liberty is now informally known as Lady Liberty. The creators made her out of copper and she was originally a shiny copper color, similar to a new penny. Over time, the copper oxidized, giving it the green patina we see today. She wears a robe like the Roman goddess of liberty, Libertas, and her crown has seven spikes, symbolizing the seven seas and seven continents. In other words, freedom should be universal. In her right hand, she holds a torch. In the left hand, a tablet inscribed with the date of the Declaration of Independence, July 4th, 1776. How in the world did Lady Liberty travel from France to the United States? She was disassembled, of course. The designers broke Lady Liberty into pieces and brought her to New York Harbor on ships. Then, workers rebuilt her from the ground up. Upon completion, the statue and its pedestal stood at 305 feet tall. That's 93 meters. So how did this gift become such a strong symbol for the U.S.? From 1892 to 1954, Millions of immigrants arrived to Ellis Island, the island right next to the Statue of Liberty. Ellis Island, at the time, was the primary immigration station in the U.S. Those who fled their home countries often saw Lady Liberty as a beacon of hope. In fact, upon arrival, she was the first sight on the horizon. It said that her torch led the way to liberty, a new beginning, and a life free from economic hardship, political unrest, and religious persecution. So why not visit? You can even climb up into the crown and enjoy a panoramic view of New York Harbor through its 25 windows. Thanks, France. That's it for this story. What were the 10 irregular verbs in this lesson? Let's go through them. The first one is to be. To be in the past is was or were. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from France to the United States in 1886. Here are some other examples. She was excited about the upcoming vacation. The weather was perfect for a day at the beach. The next one was to take. To take in the past tense is took. It took about nine years to make. It took her seven years to write the end of her book. She took a very long time getting ready this morning. To break. The past tense of to break is broke. The designers broke Lady Liberty into pieces. She accidentally broke the vase while cleaning. The car broke down on the way to the concert. To bring in the past is 
brought. The designers broke Lady Liberty into pieces and brought her to New York Harbor on ships. She brought her friend along for the trip. He brought her a cake for her birthday. To build in the past is built. Then workers rebuilt her from the ground up. Of course, rebuilt means they built it again. They built a sand castle on the beach. The company built a new office downtown. To stand in the past is stood. Upon completion, the statue and its pedestal stood at 305 feet tall. That's 93 meters. He stood in line for over an hour. She stood by the window watching the rain. To make in the past is made. The creators made her out of copper, and she was originally a shiny copper color similar to a new penny. She made a delicious dinner for the family. He made a significant contribution to the project. To flee in the past is fled. Those who fled their home countries often saw Lady Liberty as a beacon of hope. The suspect fled the scene before the police arrived. The villagers fled the town during the thunderstorm. To see, in the past tense, is saw. Those who fled their home countries often saw Lady Liberty as a beacon of hope. The little girl saw a shooting star last night. The teenager saw his favorite band perform live. To lead in the past is led. Upon arrival, she was the first sight on the horizon. It said that her torch led the way to liberty. The captain led the team to victory in the championship. The forest ranger led the way through the dense forest. Quiz time. Fill in the blank with the correct past tense form. Are you ready? Let's do it. Number one. It mm, them several hours to finish painting the room. What was the past tense of to take? Took. It took them several hours to finish painting the room. Number two. I brought an umbrella because it mm, rainy outside. What was the past tense of to be? Was. I brought an umbrella because it was rainy outside. Number three. He mm, up with his girlfriend after having a nasty fight. What was the past tense of to break? Broke. He broke up with his girlfriend after having a nasty fight. Number four. She mm, a delicious cake to share with everyone. What was the past tense of to bring? Brought. She brought a delicious cake to share with everyone. Number five, the kids, mm, a sandcastle on the beach. What was the past tense of to build? Built. The kids built a sandcastle on the beach. Number six, the lone tree, mm, tall on the hilltop, overlooking the valley. What was the past tense of to stand? Stood. The lone tree stood tall on the hilltop, overlooking the valley. Number seven. The artist, mm, a beautiful sculpture. 
What was the past tense of to make? Made. The artist made a beautiful sculpture. Number eight. The deer mm, into the forest when it saw the approaching car. What was the past tense of to flee? Fled. The deer fled into the forest when it saw the approaching car. Number nine. I mm, a shooting star streak across the night sky. What was the past tense of to see? Saw. I saw a shooting star streak across the night sky. Number 10. The captain, mm, his crew, threw the dangerous storm. What was the past tense of to lead? Led. The captain led his crew through the dangerous storm. Great job on that quiz. Now you're going to hear the recording a second time. Be sure to listen all the way through to reinforce the irregular past tense forms of the 10 key verbs in this lesson. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from France to the United States in 1886. And it commemorates not only the centennial of American independence, but the friendship between the two nations. It took about nine years to make. The exterior was designed by French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi, and the statue's internal structure was engineered by Gustave Eiffel, or Gustave Eiffel, who later designed the Eiffel Tower. The Statue of Liberty is now informally known as Lady Liberty. The creators made her out of copper, and she was originally a shiny copper color, similar to a new penny. Over time, the copper oxidized, giving it the green patina we see today. She wears a robe like the Roman goddess of liberty, Libertas, and her crown has seven spikes, symbolizing the seven seas and seven continents. In other words, freedom should be universal. In her right hand, she holds a torch. In the left hand, a tablet inscribed with the date of the Declaration of Independence, July 4th, 1776. How in the world did Lady Liberty travel from France to the United States? She was disassembled, of course. The designers broke Lady Liberty into pieces and brought her to New York Harbor on ships. Then, workers rebuilt her from the ground up. Upon completion, the statue and its pedestal stood at 305 feet tall. That's 93 meters. So how did this gift become such a strong symbol for the U.S.? From 1892 to 1954, millions of immigrants arrived to Ellis Island, the island right next to the Statue of Liberty. Ellis Island, at the time, was the primary immigration station in the U.S. Those who fled their home countries often saw Lady Liberty as a beacon of hope. In fact, upon arrival, she was the first sight on the horizon. It said that her torch led the way to liberty, a new beginning, and a life free from economic hardship, political unrest, and religious persecution. So why not visit? You can even climb up into the crown and enjoy a panoramic view of New York Harbor through its 25 windows. Thanks, France. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Check out the description to learn more.